Hello ILR students, this is Professor Miller. In this short video, I will demonstrate how to retrieve a document by its citation in both Westlaw Edge and Lexis Plus. And the starting point for your research is a citation. There's a quick and easy way to navigate to that document on both of these major legal research platforms. This is just one strategy for locating a document on Westlaw or Lexis. Unit four is a deep dive into several search strategies for finding legal information. In the meantime, knowing how to retrieve a document by its citation will be helpful as you learn more about research planning and types of sources in Units 2 and 3. Let's start in Westlaw Edge. After you log on to Westlaw, you will start at this homepage. At the center of the page, you will find what we refer to as the global search bar. It looks much like the search bar on the Google homepage, but it has much more sophisticated search capabilities. The remainder of the page lists individual databases for choosing pre-search filters and narrowing your searches. More on that in Unit 4. To retrieve a document by citation, we will simply enter that citation in the global search bar. We will practice here with one primary source, a case, and one secondary source, an encyclopedia entry. For the case, I will enter the reporter citation, starting with the volume number then the abbreviation for the title of the reporter where the case is published, then the page number where the case begins. In this case, the volume number is 214, the abbreviation for Virginia Reports is simply VA, and the page number where this particular case starts is 388. And when I hit the enter button or the orange magnifying glass button at the top of the page, I go directly to this particular case. From here, I'll go back to the homepage and we'll try an encyclopedia entry. Okay, so starting again from the homepage, I will similarly enter the volume number, the abbreviation for American Jurisprudence, which is AMJUR, the title of the chapter, and the specific section number. So here I have volume three, the abbreviation for the title is AMJUR. The title of the chapter is Adverse Possession. And I wanna look at section 38. To become more familiar with the citation formats for these sources, there is now a cheat sheet available with your Unit 2 handouts in the web course. And let's now try the same thing on Lexis Plus. When you log on to Lexis, you will start at this homepage. Keep in mind that Lexis redesigned this homepage just this summer, so you may encounter other instructional materials or references to Lexis with a different look to the homepage and using the name Lexis Advance. This is just an example of how these research platforms continually evolve over time. On Lexis, I will practice with a statute and an annotation from the American Law Reports, or ALR. To start with the Virginia statute, I will enter the abbreviation for the name of the code and the specific section number. In this case, the Virginia code annotated section 8.01 dash two three six and when I hit enter or the button with the red magnifying glass I go directly to this code section let's go back to the home page and try again with an ALR annotation so for this secondary source I will enter the volume number in this case, 65, the abbreviation for the American Law Reports, which is ALR, the series number, in this case, 2D, and the page number where this annotation begins, 143. And same as before, I go directly to this ALR annotation. From here, practice retrieving a few documents by their citation using cases you've encountered in your other courses so far. When you have any questions about searching by citation, check in with your legal research professor.